Hey everybody, Bargain Brother with you. Your prize money penny pincher here to help you make or save money, mostly make money. Uh, before I get into today's topic, if you should happen to find value in this content, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing, and sharing. Man, I would really, really appreciate that. Now, today's topic, we're jumping into real estate. And what type of real estate investments get you the best bang for your buck? And in my opinion, it's investing in D-class neighborhoods. And you're probably saying, hey, D-class neighborhoods, what's that? So let's jump into the classes of neighborhoods when you're investing in real estate. And this is regarding investing in rental real estate, particularly multifamily or apartment buildings is what some people may call them. Uh, you got four classes, basically. You got A, B, C, and D class neighborhoods. A class neighborhood is your top of the food chain. Usually you got great schools in these neighborhoods. You got high real estate uh, values. You have amenities nearby like shopping centers and you know grocery stores, places of worship, places of uh, outdoor recreation, things of that nature. These are where your high income earners look, live. B class neighborhoods, just a little bit below that, what I would call like a middle class where you have Schools that are performing well, but not to the level of the schools in the A-class areas that are the most sought after, but still above average. Uh, you have, you know, crime, but it's still a little below average crime. You have, you know, working class uh, community. You still have most of the same amenities, just not at the same level as A-class neighborhoods. You kind of get where I'm going with this. C-class neighborhoods, Everything is on a little bit lower scale than a B-class neighborhood. And then when you get down to a class D neighborhood, that is where you have the areas with the most challenges, where crime may be the highest. Real estate will be the cheapest, but you're gonna have the most challenges as far as attracting high quality tenants because of some of the things that I mentioned earlier that are really lacking there, like high performing schools, or some D-class areas also suffer from being in areas known as food deserts, where it basically means that you don't have uh, quality grocery options in the area with fresh produce and fresh meats and dairy products and things like that that we need for our body's nutrition. So, why do I think a B-class neighborhood is the best? I'm gonna give a quick comparison to A and B-class neighborhoods to tell why. A-class neighborhoods, real estate is usually the most expensive. A B-class neighborhood, it's not as expensive. It still can be kind of expensive, but you can still find deals in B-class areas because you may look up and get property that is distressed, whether it's being sold via uh, someone passing away and the heirs are deciding to sell it a little below value because they just don't want it, or maybe it's being sold through a court-ordered divorce, or maybe, you know, the owner just came on hard times and it's lost via foreclosure, but you can actually get property in B-class areas where you have equity, and that's huge, and you usually don't get really equity in the A-class areas, you're paying full retail value. B-class areas, you can buy below value, okay? So you're getting some equity, that's part one. Uh, part two, A-class areas, you have, you know, you're looking for this high income earner that can afford this really expensive unit uh, and maybe afford some of the other expenses that come with their life, like maybe driving high, uh, you know, very expensive import vehicles, maybe, they have uh, expenses like memberships to country clubs and things like that. They can cost really, you know, like a lot of money. So those are some of the expenses associated with being in the A-class area. And you may have a smaller amount of people that can actually afford to rent your unit. As opposed to B-class areas where it's more working to middle class, where you have a lot of uh, people in professions like maybe uh, trade professions like carpenters and electricians, uh, ser civil service uh, jobs and first responders like hospital workers, nurses, police officers, uh, firemen and, and things of that nature. So you have a much bigger pool of people that can actually lease your property. That's number two. Number three, the back-end trade-off. The back-end trade-off can be so much more 
with a B-class property as opposed to an A-class property, and here's why. I stated before that in an A-class property, you're usually gonna be paying full retail value. With a B-class property, if you bought that property under value and got it through some type of distressed sale, whether it be foreclosure, or maybe someone inherited it and just wanted to get rid of it, so they sold it below value, that means that you have equity and now when it's time to sell it, you actually have more equity to make a bigger profit on the back end. Because when you go into these real estate investments, I've said it before uh, in one of my previous videos, there's three things that you look for to make sure that the investment is a good one. One is you want tax advantages. Two, you want monthly cash flow. And three, you want a large chunk lump sum payout on the back end when you exit that investment. And normally your pool of buyers are people that have bought C and D class properties that are looking to quote unquote level up and now move to the next level up in the real estate game and they'll buy your B class property. And as long as you got some equity in there, you're looking at a really nice payout on the back end. So there it is. There's just a few reasons why I see B class apartment investments in real estate as the best bang for your buck and i'll you know anybody can challenge me on it but that's what i think i've seen it happen with my own eyes full disclosure licensed real estate broker for nearly 13 years i sold properties in all four classes and neighborhoods and the b class just always seems to work out the best if it's purchased under value you got the most upside with it it will cash flow it will get you those tax benefits and it will get you the large lump sum chunk payout on the back end so there it is guys why b class is the best by the bargain brother please don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you for watching this video and in closing it does not matter if you take the stairs or the elevator to get to the peak of your mountain as long as you get there and on that note i will see you guys in the next video